Hello everyone, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota. If you are at that point in your statistics class where you are working with z-scores and percentiles, you have come to the right YouTube video. I've got a program called z-score that will take care of everything. You will learn in this video by using the z-score program how to find z-scores and the associated percentiles how to make a list of z-scores if you've already got a list of some uh, raw values and third point how to find a z-score by given the percentile okay as always this YouTube video is supported by my website andyborn.com math there is a PDF document that goes along with this video you can print it it's just one page it has all the examples that I'm about to cover Plus, over here on the side, it's got the complete code listing. Now, I don't expect you to type in the whole thing. You can if you want. It won't take too long. But I've also got the file, zscore.8xp, that you can load onto your calculator, either a TI-84 Plus or the new TI-84 Plus Color. It'll, uh, you can use TI Connect. It'll load right in there, and then you can use it. You don't have to type this whole thing in. But if you don't have that, then you can type it in, and it'll be fine. All right. Let's get to it. Example number one, finding a z-score. I like to put these with, you know, a little real-world problem. So, a certain university will give a partial scholarship to students if they are, quote-unquote, exceptional, meaning they score at or above the 90th percentile on an entrance exam. Lisa scored a 70 on a test, where the mean is 62, and the standard deviation is 5.3. What is her z-score? And did she earn a scholarship? So we're wondering if she got into the 90th percentile or not. Okay, let's take a look at the program. All right, here is your home screen. Make that a little bit easier to see. Okay, there we go. All right, you will find the Z-score program after it is entered or loaded by pressing the program key right in the center of your keypad. And this is the only program I've got entered here, so just execute it and press enter again here we go we've got three options find z-scores z-scores from list z-scores from percentile we're gonna do option number one so press enter again alright now according to this um, according to the problem here uh, she scored a 70 so we're gonna put in the raw value of 70 uh, the mean score of the test that all the kids are taking is 62 and the standard deviation is 5.3. Given that information, press enter, and here we go. We got it all. The z score is 1.5094, so you don't ever need that little table in the back of a textbook. And it also gives the percentile. This is the amount of area, so to speak, underneath the normal curve uh, at this z score location. So she's uh, at the 93rd percentile. And I also listed the amount above. So this value right down here, that's just uh, one subtract this percentile. So six kids are smarter than her. She's smarter than 93 kids. So there you go. All right, moving on to example two. Now let's say you've got a list of raw data values, like, you know, just a little short list here. And you put them in uh, list one. With this z-score program, it will analyze the list. It'll generate z-scores for all of them. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, now you can enter the list manually, pressing stat, and then by pressing edit. And here I've already got my values put in to save time here. You can just enter them manually in list one. Once you've got them in there, you can press program, execute the z-score and all right then let's take a look here all right option two z-scores from a list press enter and ba boom there it did it all done let's have a look I'll press enter again I'm gonna quit the program and if you want to actually take a look at some of these nice z-scores go to stat then go to edit again and here they are in list two corresponding z-scores for each one of the data values. Pretty nice, huh? This is zero next to the 26 indicates that 26 must be the mean of this list. All right. Moving on to example three. 
All right. So you are given a percentile, like say, what is the 20th percentile? Oh, here's the 20th percentile, right? But what would be the z-score of that? Hmm. Likewise, here's another one. Suppose you are said, you're given the 95th percentile. Oh, here's the 95th percentile. What's the z-score? Uh, do you need a table to do a reverse lookup? No, just use this program. And let's bring it in. So we're going to look for the 20th and the 95th. Okay, running z-score again. Here we go. Z-score is from percentile. We'll choose option 3, or you can just press 3. Okay, now I want to give you a clear warning here. This finds it by doing some heavy-duty computation, and it could take as long as 30 seconds. So that's why I put that little warning in there. Okay, but I'm not going to make you wait that long because you don't have time to wait. Here it is. That is our z-score, negative 0.8416. Let's try the 95th. Okay, we'll choose number 3 again. Enter percentile 95. Please don't enter 0.95 because I take care of that for you. Just put in 95 because now we know what you mean. Okay, 30 seconds later. And there we go. The z-score is 1.6449. I uh, truncate it here to four decimal points. All right, so there you go. It finds a z-score from the percentile. Pretty sweet. And uh, that's it. Again, andyborn.com slash math. I've got a PDF here for you. I've got the program that you can download and uh, add to your calculator free of charge. It's all good. Thank you very much for watching. See ya!